All right, so I have a desperate need to do laundry today, so if you can hear the uh, washing machine in the background, I apologize for that. But I have two palettes to show you and a bunch of other stuff, so I'm going to show you all the other stuff first, and then I'll set up the camera and tip it down so I can do swatches for you guys. This is probably going to be a long video. I'm going to try and make it as short as possible. So I got a few things from Hot Topic. I had ordered Nickelodeon sneakers, but I can't show them to you because I'm already sending them back because they were too small. They were in, it said on the website that it was men's sizes, so I got a 7 because I'm a 9 in women's. So a 7 in men's is a 9 in women's and they're way too small. So I sent them back and said, um, please send me a size 8 instead and we'll see if that works or if they even have them in stock. But I did pick up a few other things when I made that order. I got a little, I've been super into enamel pins lately because I'm putting them all over my bags, uh, my bag. <laughs> so I got a little Stranger Things 11, what is that called, like a chibi? chibi design because it's super cute <laughs> um, so I got that one from my bag and then they finally had my unicorn tears perfume back in stock so I ordered two more of these this smells so good you guys it's this is the one that has the glitter in it it has like little holographic glitter but it's so minuscule in here that it doesn't get you all glittery or anything and then I saw that they had a new one called zombie blood which just looks like this. It's red, which is pretty cool. If my camera wants to focus. So these are normally $5. They were on sale for $3.75, I think. Something like that. But this one smells really good too. This is a more like berry-ish scent. I'm guessing it's like a dragon's blood scent probably, or like dragon fruit, something like that. That's what it smells like. So then getting into this other stuff, I ordered the Kat Von D Divine palette and the lipstick, which I'm going to get into the palette in a minute. She, you guys know I was like her biggest fan, but like lately the way she replies to people and stuff has really been pissing me off. So, um, I don't know, I saw a lot of people say like, how could she do a divine palette and not put like a pink shade in there? Which the palette I'll get to in a second, it, the, the color scheme doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know much about divine other than he's a drag queen, but uh, anyway, the lipstick comes in a lime green package, which is pretty cool. Her, um, it's like a muted nude color, which is right up my alley. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus today. Let me get my head out of the way. That's what this looks like. I do, I think this is the new formula. She's redone her lipstick formula so many times. But it's very creamy. This is a matte shade. Um, I like the color, but I've never been a huge fan of these, these lipsticks. Let me hit it on for you. It feels very creamy and comfortable, but it makes your lips look dry. And I don't know if it's just this color or what, but I mean... I had the Coven color, which was like the, the really light lavender, and it was like dragging it across your lips. It was so dry. So at least they're creamier now. But I don't know, it just doesn't make my lips look nice. I do like the color. But, yeah. <laughs> so that's just okay. I liked the lime green packaging. I'm not the biggest fan of the studded kiss lipsticks. Um, so, the packaging for the palette looks like this. It's got the divine eyes on there. And the colors are on the back. That's the box. And then the palette looks exactly the same. Um... I will, oh, I'm gonna set up the camera in a minute to flip it down. The mirror has like Divine's eyebrows on it, which I really don't care for that because I can't stand that Cat puts pictures on the mirrors like this because it just drives me nuts when I'm trying to actually use the mirror. Just like with her handheld mirror, it's got stars all over it. This mirror is pretty dirty right now. But I really like this mirror and I find myself holding it like this so that the stars are out of my way when I'm trying to do my makeup on my right eye. So that's just a little 
a nitpicky thing that I have, but I don't like when stuff is on the mirror. <laughs> so inside we have these colors and I'm not a big fan of this color scheme. I am someone who likes to play with color a lot, but if you, the makeup that I just had on that you saw me wearing, I used the, this palette today except for my crease color because it's not really a good transition shade in here and I just I find myself struggling to make a look with these colors <laughs> like she's got a matte white and a matte black which is in so many of her other palettes so that could have been those could have both been something else um, and they're not like super good quality like her eyeshadows usually are I don't know what's up with this but I'm not just saying that because she's been aggravating me lately but um, you guys know I have every one of her palettes and this one's just not impressing me. So we have Babs, which is a sheer, kind of like a white gold shade. I haven't done a video this way in so long, so that is a finger swatch with no base. And then I'm going to do a quick brush swatch right next to it. And it takes some building when you don't have a base, but that is Babs. I had wipes ready this time. Have the black, which is gonna make a mess of my brush. This is hard magic. It's just a matte black. It's not like you can see, just with those two little swipes. It's not the best pigmentation-wise. Kind of have to rub in there. There's that one, and we'll do this. Now my phone's going off, it's gonna bug me. <laughs> this one actually blends pretty easily, but it's got a lot of fallout. Like, it's very powdery. So that is hard magic. I really need to get one of those dry, uh, like the brush switch, color switch things, whatever they're called, the color switch brush cleaner. Um, then we have Baltimore, which is this metallic blue. It's very dry. I find this one hard to apply with a brush. This watch is pretty, but it's not the greatest, especially for a metallic shade. That is Baltimore. We have Waters, which is a matte, like, baby blue shade. I apologize that my um, nails are so awful right now, I need to paint them. This one's kind of chalky. And this is a color I definitely don't ever use. <laughs> like, I don't think baby blue looks good on me at all. So, my brush is a little bit wet here, but this is what this looks like. It looks darker because my brush was still damp, but that is Waters. Filthy, which is a deep metallic gunmetal shade. That one's pretty nice um, pigmentation wise and everything. Doesn't want to apply without a base very well. And that one's pretty fallouty too. I used this one yesterday on my eyes and it was kind of falling out all on my lower lash line, like underneath my lashes. So that is filthy. Then we have pink flamingos, which is this lime green. I actually have a similar color to this coming out with my spring eyeshadow palette that I'm doing. Um, this is probably my favorite color out of the palette. So that is pink flamingos. My brush is really dirty again. I've got to just have like 10 brushes here to swatch these for you guys. i me grab another one. Okay, then we have Female Trouble, which is a matte white, which is always kind of a hard color to do. This one is not, not the greatest pigmentation-wise. Pretty patchy as well with a finger swatch, so... I'm going to do this, kind of try to load the brush up. It's 
so that's one pass. It's definitely, you need a white, like, cream base underneath it to actually make it white white, <laughs> but it's not a very bright white. And then, last but not least, um, I used this shade a little on my outer half of my lid today as well. This is called Hairspray, and this is a metallic, uh, kind of like a pewter color, but it has silver sparkles in it. This and the lime green are definitely the best, in my opinion, out of this palette. That one's very soft and pigmented. So I will show you with a brush swatch. It's more... You have to build it up a little when you use it, use the brush with it, but it's a very pretty, like, reflective color. So that is the Kat Von D Divine Palette. I definitely don't think this one is, like, a must-have. Like, I collect, I have all her palettes, so I, like, even when I saw it, when it first came out, or when she had, like, posted pictures of it, I was like, eh, I don't know how often I'm going to use that because that color scheme is just not speaking to me. But because I have all her other ones, I was like, oh, I have to get it. <laughs> um, I actually, I didn't buy the Metal Matte Mini one because I see no point in that because it's all colors that are in the Metal Matte palette and I already have that. But yeah, this one was kind of a disappointment, guys. I do have to say that. So not my favorite palette ever from Kat Von D. Uh, and then the other one I got that literally just came in the mail is the Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. So it looks like a rainbow. It's absolutely adorable. I've heard a lot of people saying that this is like ridiculous childish packaging, but I mean Too Faced always has some pretty crazy packaging and I thought this was really pretty and super cute. I didn't get anything else from the collection. I just grabbed the palette. The mirror is a little bit tiny. Hi! <laughs> it's a little bit tiny. It's just shaped like a cloud. Um, and then these are the eyeshadows. So when I first saw pictures of it online, this one, if you, even if you look at the Too Faced website, they had this one pictured as like a pink to blue ombre. That's what it looked like. And in reality, it's really just like a pink with a turquoise duochrome. So maybe that's why they pictured it like that, to show you that it was duochrome -y. But that's kind of a bummer because I thought that looked really cool. It just went from like pink to blue. So I haven't even swatched this yet. I'm going to um, take my pictures for my blog and then I will be right back because I'm going to do the swatches, the swatch pictures, and then I'll come back and talk about it more. <laughs> okay, so this one is definitely going to be like my first impressions because I have not used these on my eyes yet. I just swatched them for my blog, uh, my blog post. But I am pretty impressed with the swatches so far. So this is a really pretty palette. It's very colorful, but they have a few like neutral shades in here too. So it's not like a scary, bright, colorful rainbow palette. Um, but it's so pretty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go around the outer uh, rainbow half here, and then I'll do the inner, and then I'll swatch unicorn tears. So the first one is Young and Free. This is a matte like bright pink. So I, I do have a little bit of sparkles on me. That is from the swatches I just did, <laughs> mainly that unicorn tears color. Um, I'll do a brush swatch right next to it. Again, I don't have any primer or anything on my hand, so that is young and free. I'm gonna have to keep switching brushes here because they're all like wet and dirty now from all these swatches. Let me wipe my hand off and try to get some of that glitter to go. All right, Rainbow Life is more of like a corally pink, but it has some pink sparkle in it that I don't know if it's gonna pick up on the camera or not, but it's really pretty. It's kind of a unique pink. You don't really see this shade too often in palettes anyway. Swatches are really nice with a brush. This video is going to take me forever to edit because I have to keep editing out my cleaning here, cleaning my hand. Um, Sunset Dream is a really pretty 
almost like a peach with a slight gold shift to it. All these shadows are really nice and creamy too, which is nice. Oh, please focus. <laughs> I will use this one. So that is Sunset Dream. I have Fun in the Sun. This is so pretty. This is like a gold. It has like a... I, don't, I can't really tell if that's green or not. It's got like a greeny duochrome shift to it. It's so bright, like a bright ass gold. <laughs> and then I will do a swatch with a brush. Whoops, I just jabbed my brush in there. So that one takes a little bit more building when you do it with a brush, but oh, that's so pretty. That actually reminds me of one of the colors in one of the Natasha Denona palettes. Of course, I cannot remember which one it is, but it looks like one of those nice duochrome shades. Then we have Fireflies. This is an olive, like a metallic olive with a gold shift. Again, super duper pigmented. Look at that. It's so pretty. Super metallic. Oh, this brush is still wet. Hold on. <laughs> I told you I should have grabbed like 10 different brushes to do this with. Let's see. I'm trying to grab like flat brushes because they just work better to do swatches with. So this one does not want to pick up very well on a brush. So maybe that's going to have to be one that I apply with my fingers instead. But it's so pretty. Look how pigmented it was when I did it with my finger. And of course, I don't have a base or anything, so that's affecting it too. Alright, then we have Fun to See. This is the only one that was a little like chalky, patchy feeling. Not patchy feeling, but patchy applying. This one's like a deep... See, you can definitely see that that one's very patchy chalky doesn't want to stick. Is it like a deep um, berry color? And it is matte. Let me see if it applies any better with a brush. Nope. Very... that one sucks. <laughs> that one's very fallouty and not pigmented and just blah. So that's the worst one in the palette. All the other ones are pretty nice. We have Dusk Teal Dawn. This is a metallic teal that's so pretty. These are all like, all the metallic ones are like glowy when they hit the light. It's so pretty. So we will swatch a disc with a brush. Build it a little bit. Dusk till dawn. So that is the, sorry, my phone keeps going off. That is the entire outside row of the rainbow. Euphoric, which is Another, this is like a metallic light champagne peach. Another one that's like crazy glowy. This would make such a pretty highlighter. Like for summer when you're, when I'm a little bit tanner, even though I don't tan that much, <laughs> I usually burn instead. Let's see. Oh, don't tell me this one doesn't want to apply with a brush. Okay, that's a little bit better. Gotta build this one with the brush so pretty. I can't wait to use these shadows on my eyes. Then we have Desert Vibes, which I definitely appreciate that they put in this because it's mostly a colorful palette, but you need that transition shade to like get a full look out of just using one palette. And that one's really nice and pigmented. Very, oh, please focus. <laughs> Very creamy matte transition shade. Kind of like a camel, camel color, camel brown. It doesn't want to apply with a brush. Doesn't have much fallout though, considering that I'm trying to build it. That is Desert Vibes. But Beeman, which is another one that would make such a pretty highlighter. This is like a 
blinding <laughs> white gold. Look at that. It's even crazier when you swatch it because it's so pretty. Well, you can see if my camera would like to focus today, the way the light hits it. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm gonna... Hoping that this picks up on a... This brush is kind of fluffy, so I'm wondering if that's why it's not picking up as great, but this one seems to do pretty well. You can see the gold more when it's applied with the brush. It looks more white over here and more gold over here. We have Mystic Rain, the one that I thought was going to be like an ombre effect, but it still is really pretty. It's like a lavender pink with a teal duochrome. Hopefully you can see that color shift. It's very, very nice. And then I will do a swatch right next to it with the brush. So pretty. I like that color a lot. That's going to be a really pretty, like, all over lid color for springtime. Kind of reminds me of Easter. Easter shade. And then this one is Artist Pass. So this is very duochrome -y. This is like a deep reddish burgundy with a tealish duochrome. Very metallic. Make sure my brush isn't soaked here. Yeah, it definitely has a berryish undertone to it. So pretty when it hits the light, though. I have Unicorn Tears, which looks like just this gray with a little bit of pink sparkles in the pan. But when you swatch it, it comes off as like a lavender, like a pale lavender with a pink duochrome. And it has little tiny itty bitty pink sparkles in it. And this pan is definitely big enough to use it as like a face highlighter. Uh, my brush is still wet, but that kind of shows the pink a little better when it's wet like that. I'm going to grab one of the other ones here. Very pretty. So there you have it. That is the... Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. I was very excited when I first saw pictures of this one and signed up for the mailing list and everything so I knew what day it released. Um, but it's really cute. This is super cute packaging to me anyway. The, uh, the cover is like puffy, like reminds me of old school like um, Trapper Keepers. <laughs> you know how they always had like the puffy puffiness to it on the cover or like a hardcover book that has that puffiness to it but it's got a glittery unicorn it is puffy and rainbow it's got holographic goodness on there and on the inside and everything and it's just really nice so this is part of the life's a festival collection they have like a unicorn highlighter uh it's like a highlighter bronzer duo, and then they have the rainbow highlighter, which apparently people are still doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this one. Was not as impressed with the Kat Von D Divine one. I also have the, oh, what do you call it? The Wet n Wild Goth what was it? Gothographic collection. I ordered the whole collection so that I can do a set, like a review video on the entire thing for you guys. Um, and I know that Lime Crime just released their Venus XL palette, which I have not ordered yet. I'm trying to be good and not order that. I think I'm gonna cave eventually and get it, but I'm trying to wait for it to go on sale or something. Um, but that is it for this video. I told you guys it was going to be long <laughs> with all the swatching going on. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you next time.